Um, this will be a quick video on illustrating regions using Venn diagrams. So we'll be dealing with two sets and three sets. Um, the idea behind this is to know how the shading works. So if you have any um, descriptions of Venn diagrams or they want you to shade certain regions in a Venn diagram, you would be able to know which regions they're talking about. Um, so if I have, um, we'll going to go through the basic, um, the most basic shading or region, which is A intersect B. And A intersect B defines um, or relates to the where the two areas meet. Um, so precisely this area. So this is known as the intersection of A and B. Um, what I'm going to go through now is a very a long explanation about how this um, intersection works because we're going to use this definition um, throughout. So A intersect B can be when you need to shade um, both regions. So it's when you end up shading both regions. So if you think of it as I'm going to shade A and then I'm going to shade B and then where did I shade twice? And the place I shaded twice would be the, min the region in the center. Now it's very straightforward for this example, but this illustration will be useful for the other examples. For a union, you need to just not take where you've shaded an area twice. You need to take all the shading. So if I shaded um, A, and I've shaded B. Then this whole shaded region that I've taken is my um, is my is the required area of A union B. Um, so union, you take everything you've shaded, and intersection, you take the areas you've shaded twice. Um, so this will be a useful thing to remember. But obviously, for these basic ones, you don't have to remember this fact. Um, going into more complicated ones so if I have a description instead so A or B but not both um, so this is as if we're using the this is as if we're using the A section and then the B section but not including the intersection, so that would be A or B, but not both. The or is where you have the union. Um, so the union could tell you, oh, either A or B, um, so we would describe it as the union. Um, and the intersection can be described as the and, so this will be the and um, section. And um, So um, A prime is everything not included in A, and then we have B, and we're looking at the intersection, so and. So I'm looking at where would I shade twice. So I'll shade outside of A first, and then all of this, and then I'll shade B as well. And because I'm looking at an intersection, I'm going to look at the area I've shaded twice, which is this area inside the B, just without the intersection. So this black area is now the answer. And usually in an exam, you'd end up just erasing all of these extra bits that you, um, that you used. So just the intersection would remain. Sorry, just the B section would remain. Um, again, we're looking at intersection, so everything not in A and not in B. And then we're going to look at where these two areas highlight. So this is it's a different color. Um, let's say this is not A, just on the outside. And then we have not B over here and we're looking at, at at the intersection so where did I highlight twice that would be just outside of A and B 
So um, the areas that I will take will be just the outside region. This outside of A and B. Um, so remember, intersection is where you're highlighting twice, union is where you've highlighted overall. So a couple of examples, I'm only going to do a few and then have you do the rest. So A union A prime, um, this is actually the whole set, because um, if I highlight A, and then if I highlight A prime, it's everything outside of A, and I take the union, so everything I've highlighted, and which means it's the universal set. Um, if I take um, A intersect A prime, um, this would be A. A prime would be everything outside of it, so let's say the white area. And I'm taking the intersection, so wherever I've highlighted twice, which is none. So actually this is an empty set. Um, and then I'll just do um, A union B prime. So what you're going to do when the prime is outside is take um, A union B is basically all of this. And so the prime is everything you haven't highlighted. So just outside. So the outside area is your prime. And then you can use the same concept for A intersection B prime. Um, what if we have three intersections? So in this case, I have A union B and then intersect C. So what I'd recommend you to do is know what this is first, make sure that you've highlighted the required area and then deal with this required area and the intersection here. So in this case, we have um, A union B is basically everything here and here. And we want this with the intersection of C. So if I highlight C, you could tell that the only place I've highlighted twice are these three intersections. So my answer will be just these intersections. Um, and then let's say we do the same thing for, let me try the third one instead. Um, so A intersect, B prime intersect C. So let's deal with the brackets first. Um, B intersect, B prime intersect C. Um, B prime would be everything outside of B. So I'm looking at all of this area, just a rough highlighting. And then wherever it intersects with C, if I highlight all of C, I could clearly see that my intersection, that my answer to that bracket is going to be this area. Because I'm looking at where I highlighted twice. If this is all of C, then the place I highlighted twice is just here. So the answer in the brackets would just be this. just without the intersection here. And then um, I want this bracket intersecting with A. So if I highlight A, if this is my A, then where have I shaded twice? And that would be this area here. So that would be my final answer without this intersection and without these. So just this, the intersect intersection of A and C without the inside. So practice on those, practice on going through the second and fourth maybe just to get a clearer picture as well. Um, but what if you actually have sets here and you need to know where the intersection is? So in this case, um, you can note that, I'm just going to do A because part B is similar to A, um, note that you have all of C, but not the intersection, so not the full intersection of all the values. Um, so what you're going to do is um, 
note that this is basically through trial and error. You can consider this as C uh, intersect uh, the complement of all the intersections. Um, you can look at this as, um, well, if I take if I take the complement of A, so this would be the complement of A, and I take the complement of, the complement of A would basically take up most of this region, but I'm still missing this part. So this part can come from the complement of B. Okay, so the complement of A and the complement of B so have taken up the space that I needed without this tiny intersection. So I have this space that I need without the intersection. So A complement union B complement gave me the area that I need but it gave me a bit extra and I don't want this extra I just want the C part so let me take this and take the intersection with C so if this is my C area which means that if I highlight it or if I do the shading again I will get the required area that I need because if I highlight this whole C the C will intersect with the shaded regions that I got from A and A complement and B complement and that would be the required thing and it's similar here but you have A and C interchanging instead hopefully this video is clear and um, it's just about shading the regions and understanding how the regions um, um, how to do them separately so make sure you deal with the brackets first Make sure union is everything you've highlighted and intersection is everything you've highlighted twice.